tonight on Rock Talk with Grant from Lucky Badger. How's it going, man? Doing good. How are you? All right, dude. Just, you know, what happened with the landlord thing? Oh, you know, stuff and things. <laughs> That's nice, bro. Yeah, dude. It's just you know weird times, man. Uh, yeah. Like things are crazy. Realistically, like <clears throat> you know, South For by sure. was nuts. I don't know. Did you have anything going on during South by? I mean, we were playing your show and a couple of other shows, but I okay. Mean, so we we lost yeah. some some shows, but I mean, yeah, that's what I'm saying. As hard so, as any of the out of town yeah. and stuff, it hit everybody hard. So uh, yeah. yeah, so you know, life is what it is. It's okay. It'll be a fun, it'll be fine. I'm not worried. But yeah, we'll, uh, we'll be good. I mean, well, yeah, we'll be all right. It, it sucks right now, but we'll, you know, we'll be fine. Yeah, life is how it, how it is. How well, so what's been going on? Were y'all uh, were y'all recording anything or? Uh, kind of. Yeah, we're we're working on a single right now. Um, just kind of an I like an idea that came together really fast, so we're wanting to put it out. It's not part of a EP or an album or anything, but uh, we're pretty excited. We played it a couple times live in the last couple of months, but uh, yeah, now we're just fine tuning the recording. Oh really? How many of y- how many of y'all live in the same area? Are y'all all living together right now, or no? We're all over the place. Um, I live uh, in Riverside, and so does uh, the bass player Axel. And then our drummer lives like way south on like South Lamar. And then uh, the key player, uh, synth player Tanner, play- uh, lives like up by like one eighty three. Oh, really? I live over yeah. off Riverside. I know Riverside pretty well, actually. Nice. See, where are you at? I'm um, over off Crossing. Oh, hell yeah. Me too. What? Yeah, I'm Crossing <laughs> and uh, in Riverside. So, like, that corner, of the, the Trace, those apartments right there? Oh, uh, yeah? Condos? Yeah, that's us. Well, no, okay. Nice. Okay, I'm over here by the uh, uh, Village Estate, or uh, University Village, I think oh, okay. what it's called. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah. A little yeah. gray bastards in the back. I feel you. <laughs> <laughs> The Tuma! It's not a Tuma! <laughs> the <laughs> cops are always on that street for one reason yeah, or another. Yeah, it's always over there, you know. It's not because of me. So I just sit over here in my corner. <laughs> but, you know. But anyways, well, so, um, well, so how many of us, what's your band called? Just Lucky so everybody Badger knows. is the name uh, of the band. What is it called? Lucky Badger. Lucky Badger, you, you Lucky Badger. Uh, yeah. Well, so, how many of, it, how many of us are there? Uh, four. So uh, I sing and play guitar. Axel plays bass. Uh, Tanner on the keys and Keenan on the drums. Awesome. Who's better? Who's the best? Oh shit. Uh, Come on. Uh, I'd say best? I'd say the best musician is probably Axel. I think Axel's probably a better bass player than I am a guitar player, and everyone yeah, else as well. Does he also do everything? Like, he, what's he like? Uh, I mean, he does. He started off playing drums. It was just me and him as a guitar and drums duo, uh, and then he moved to bass because he's better. You know, he feels more comfortable. When and we found Keenan, who's you know fucking awesome at drums. Um, so yeah, but he, he does a lot. He, he plays saxophone. He like 
Oh, he's yeah. one of those guys. He was played in the UT band, so like at the oh, university, man. he was a yeah. We don't have a chance. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. Sure. Well, so what else have y'all been up to since since y'all are uh, since y'all are kind of like you know dissipated at the point at the moment? Are you actually right. or what's going on? I mean, yeah. I mean, we're just like hanging out over Facebook Messenger, you know, like sending videos back and forth and music and stuff and then uh, well so you're still able to keep going a little bit yeah i mean we're still talking about stuff but i mean there's no shows on the horizon there's you know like no. nothing we're not expecting anything to happen soon so um i think we're but, all just kind of writing and uh and hoping to you know collaborate on stuff and make something happen soon well what are your plans for after all this stops first well, thing show or you got an album to put out or what are you gonna do yeah, I mean, we're hoping to release something while this is still happening. Figure, you know, uh, release something while people are bored at home and have nothing better to do. So best time, that's for damn sure. Yeah, you got your yeah. So that's that's the idea is to get something out now, and then when when all this stuff clears, we just want to play shows, man. We want to play tons of shows. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Everybody does right now. Trust me. Yeah, of course. I mean, just getting the bug, you know, like getting antsy. I got just practicing today just breaking my guitar out and like playing some stuff i was like fuck it's been so long man you know i'm just like house show let's just do a house show yeah. everybody does a house show all at once then we're fine <laughs> right find a house that like has a lot of corner neighbors everyone is their own backyard stands on a ladder and watches a show yeah but you have to stand 10 feet apart because right. fucking corona <laughs> But, as soon as somebody coughs, we just shoot them. Just get the fuck Yeah, out. just shoot them again. No, I'm just kidding. That's not funny. I'm just kidding. It is a dinosaur, but not funny. But sort of, but funny. I'm just kidding. Anyways, uh, well, so who's the cook in the band? Because that's kind of, I want to know. Just in case I ever run into y'all, who, 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 who finds the food? Uh, well, I cook. But if you want to know, like, what's good around where we are, probably... No, I mean, I mean, okay, so every band has a hunter and a gatherer. Which one's who? Are you, I don't know if you're speaking in metaphors or what. Like, who goes out no, and collects berries and stuff? Which one, of y'all's, which one of y'all's like, okay, I'm going to go find the good food, and guess what? He's got the good food every single time. Because that's important to know. I want to know who's, who I need to go ask next time I'm, I run into one of you guys. Uh, that, prob- that would probably be Keenan. Keenan knows, like... We, we got this new rehearsal space, and then as soon as he pulled up, he's like, oh, yo, I've never been here before. Like, this random burrito shop that I've never heard of before is around the corner. You guys should check it out. Yeah, and follow we went Nonya's Burritos, and it's fucking dope. It's so Dude, good. I'm telling you, good food is important. Good yeah. food. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I mean, if you're going to be rehearsing for six hours, and somebody's going to get angry because they haven't eaten in a long time. You gotta keep that guy around. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, he's essential. He's essential for his food so purposes, are you, for sure. Are you married? You got a girlfriend, boyfriend? Doesn't matter. Uh, I, I got a girlfriend. She's back there. She's I see her. She's, yeah. So that means you have to clean. So she's cooking, you have yeah, to clean. Exactly, yeah. I cooked last night. Yeah, so yeah, it's our turn tonight. I think chicken tacos. We're making some chicken tacos. Oh my God, you're making me yeah. hungry. Just talking about it. I've been starving all day. I had like half a salad for lunch, and I've just been murdering myself waiting to eat dinner tonight. Oh so man, ready. I think I've had two turkey sandwiches and uh, another turkey sandwich. Sounds <laughs> 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 oh, great. I like a turkey sandwich. Yeah, you know what you do? Couple Doritos, maybe. You got turkey, you got bread. Half right. a bag. Uh, what's for dinner? I got turkey. I got bread. Well, there's only so many ways I can do these. Yeah, there's only so many ways. You just you can fold it in half, you can cut the crust off, you can cut it in a triangle, there's fours, you can cut it in. Right, yeah. However you want to do it. <laughs> uh, but anyways, that's cool. Hell yeah. Well, so, who gave you your first guitar? That's what I want to know. Oof, uh, my dad, probably. Um, he had a guitar when we were growing up. He, did, he didn't really know how to play it, but I feel like every... Every, like, middle-class white dad just has a guitar. Like, whether he can play it or not, just kind of has one. And yeah. so in our house, he just he had one that he got when he was 
young and then he never like he always was like i'm gonna learn how to play it and then never did and uh and then eventually he gave it to me um and uh for christmas one year he got me a uh a squire strat you know one of those that like sits out in the front of the the guitar center and my dad oh, walks man. up to somebody who's like what's the cheapest one here and they're like that one he's like i'll have it i used to have one Dude, I had. They sound pretty good. I, I could not say. And someone stole it off my porch. Oh no! Yeah, oh, in yeah. the case and everything. Um, it had my grandmother's flower, my grandmother's rose in it, and everything. They just like stole it off my porch. Yeah. Did it, did it break up? You probably heard nothing. I heard that you're you had a guitar that someone stole off your porch. Oh, okay. You heard. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, All right. Yeah. Yeah, man, that's such important. Well, yeah, so absolutely. I still have that first car my my dad my dad gave me. You still what? I really? still have that guitar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's crazy. My my first guitar actually was put in a pawn shop by somebody else. <laughs> Did you find it there? No, I no, I didn't. Uh, he told me he pawned it, and I was like, "What the fuck, man? I didn't say." Oh, you it could was like a buddy it. of yours, like. Yeah, I left it. I left it at his house, and I guess he was like, "Well, I needed some money," and I was like, "For for what?" Like he, he he lives in the nicest house, so I was like, "What do you need money for?" Right. Yeah. The first thing he sells to make money is not his. Is not his. Right. Yeah. Like yeah, that's really um, you're a good human. Right. Yeah. <laughs> but anyways, um, well hell yeah, man. Well, so what's keeping you going through all this besides the music and your, and your girlfriend? I mean, like, how are you dealing with all this? Uh, you know, how are you bouncing back between music and being a human? Um. I mean, I'm still going to work every day. Uh, so I, I work for a garage door company. And it's like an essential business, I guess, because... Okay, hold on. Are you guys hiring? I'm just kidding. <laughs> <Keep going. laughs> uh, well, I mean, if you've ever worked in, like, like technician jobs before, like servicing stuff, like a mechanic or something... Uh, I mean, there's nothing I can't learn, to tell you the truth. But That's fair. Uh, we'll have to talk after the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but... Yeah, so garage doors are considered. I don't. <laughs> uh, uh, garage doors are considered an essential business, I guess, because like, if the doors don't open, then you know, grocery stores can't get. get right. Yeah. Close them. Sorry. That's what you're thinking about. Like, do you have a? Okay, do you have a sword? Do you have anything to protect you if they come? I'm just kidding. Um, I but, don't. I should invest in a sword. Yeah, I have a friend who's actually deathly afraid of zombies, like realistically, and he uh, he has he has an instrument for the zombie in each corner of his house. Oh, like he's in case he gets caught off guard by the zombies. Straight up, in whatever dude, I was room like, he's in. Straight up. <laughs> yep. And in some people don't. Patient zero. He's yeah. Like the Dude, he's he's ready. I'm just saying, he's got That's plenty funny. of rice. It's just like <laughs> <laughs> plenty of rice. The zombies yeah. aren't coming for your rice, man. That's not gonna be the no. Problem. But I mean, they're not coming for the rice. But I mean, he's good. He's not going anywhere if he gets right, stuck right. in the house. But I mean, uh, uh, what was I gonna say? Uh. <laughs> but yeah, going to work and stuff is keeping me, you know, my head normal, I guess, because I'm still going to work and I'm coming home and making dinner and trying to get some kind of exercise in and then watching a movie and stuff. So at least that is keeping a little bit of normalcy. And so I'm not going super crazy, but, uh, yeah. Now that guy's keeping me up at night. So is that Marco? Okay? That's Marco. You want to meet Marco? Yeah, let's meet Marco. All right. All right. Let's meet Marco. Ready? Come on, Marco. Hey, don't get like that with me, bud. He bit the crap out of me yesterday. Hold on, I gotta let him come out. Oh, no. Usually it's open, but I put him up because he bit me. Because he doesn't normally bite. He, he literally will bite maybe once a month, if that. And that is a bit. But hold, hold on. I'll, I'll, this is, here he yeah. is. Hey, bud. That's a pretty bird. What's the name Marco That's from? Marco. Uh, he's, he's apparently from Puerto Rico. I've had him my entire life. He's 24 oh years old. 
Oh, really? Yeah. Well, that's cool. Maybe they came from the same street then. I don't know. Maybe they know each other. Maybe they, they know each other. other. I don't know. I don't know anything about Puerto Rico. <laughs> so, yeah, this is, he's just as old as you, you said, right? Well, no. I'm, I'm, I'm uh, 30, 33, I think. Oh, there you are. Is it breaking up? Yeah, I, I lost you for a bit, but I, well, I think we're good. Okay, all right. Well, so this is Marco. Yeah. Nice Hello. to meet you, Marco. Is he, can you hear him talking? Sometimes he talks. Hey, Marco. He's been, um, he's a little, he seems a little excited right now. <whistles> he's in. Hey. He's a biter, though. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, a little biter boy. A little biter boy. Little biter boy. Little biter boy about my finger. Little biter boy. Little biter boy. He's not going to get excited right now. He don't want to get excited. Hello, baby. There he goes. There he goes. He don't like my tooth kisses. Yeah. Hello. Are you going to talk whenever we get turned away now? Uh, all right, I don't want to show you my entire room, Jesus. Uh, hello. Yeah, he's just, he's just really good. Hello. Oh. Well, that's just weird. So you can't see my face, but I can see you. I mean, I see your face, but it's frozen and it's got the little spiral thing on it. Mother. It's a good look for you, though. Thank you. That's that's really nice of you to say. I've I've been trying to get some more positive about my appearance. You look fantastic, uh, and this lighting is yeah. Great. yeah. Great. Thank you. Some some tell me I look like a bird. Usually they call him David and me Marco, and I'm just like, okay, that's mean. Thing for you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, but it's okay. Um. Uh, Hell yeah, man. Do you, well, uh, I want to know, is there any kind of like music that you've been listening to that's kind of kept you going through this? Any particular song that sticks out to you besides, uh, you know, Purple, Purple Rain or possibly, uh, I don't know, a little uh, Over the Rainbow? You know, anything like that? Yeah, I mean, um, I've been in like, I, I mean, I listened to Prince the last few days, so that's why that was on my mind when you asked me about him but um uh talking heads uh yeah, yeah. The, that's the um I, I was so i'm a huge talking heads fan and you can definitely hear it in our music but i'm a huge huge talking heads fan and uh once in a lifetime is yeah. like getting me through stuff uh, do y'all have anything on your uh, on youtube yet or no yeah we've got a couple of videos um there's just, it's just like little live performance videos that I would use to, you know, send to bookers to show them that we can, you know, hold it together for a song, you know. Uh, yeah, that the, work. Yeah, so we, uh, on, yeah, if you go to YouTube and type Lucky Badger in, you'll find there's two songs that we have on there. Gas Station Caviar and uh, Easy Way With Love, I think, are the two. Ooh. Yeah. Great names. Gas Station Caviar. What is that, like, uh... What is that? <laughs> I don't know. I don't think it's a real thing. It's just like, uh, yeah. It was just like, you know, that like fancy uh, trash. I don't know. I feel like my life is defined by like feeling like a fancy piece of trash, like a real, like a sexy hot piece of trash sometimes. And so, I feel that too. I feel yeah. sexy. I've been wearing the same shirt for about three quarantine days. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, yeah. That's really, that, what that really means is a, is a week in people time. <laughs> right. <laughs> Three quarantine days is like four it's dog seven years. Days. Yeah. Seven days. But um, who's keeping track? Who knows? Uh, anyways, no. <laughs> Hold on. It's like having a child kind of. That absolutely, yeah. Same. Uh, no worries. Yeah. But uh, but yeah, that was uh, that was decent. That was good, man. Yeah. That was at Sahara Lounge. I've played there a couple times actually. Yeah. Yeah. It's a, fun, it's a fun little slot. Yeah.
<clears throat> yeah, uh, yeah, it is a good spot. Uh, where you, was uh, was Levi still doing sound in the bar there? Uh, I think Levi works the bar, but they hire a sound guy every time we've hired the guy. The sound guy's been a different guy, so I don't know. It's oh, really? Half, yeah, half the time I just run sound myself. Oh, you do sound yourself? Yeah, I mean, I'm not great at it, but in a tiny little room like that, you know, you just make it loud and balance it out as best you can. Well, um, okay. Well, past your music, is, uh, do you have any kind of message or with your music, would you like to plug anything before we get out of here or whatever? Um, or would you like to say anything to the people that maybe they can't think of themselves? Um, inspire hope and and to keep I going. Know. I yeah. Like so my face. I was. I talked with my grandma earlier today. Sorry, say that again. Hold on. <laughs> Can you hear me? Shit. No, I don't know what's going on. It's, it's funny, right whenever I ask you to do that, it cuts out. Are you there? Yeah, I, I can hear you. I can't okay, see no, you. Go ahead, do it again. I just covered my I've covered my camera, that's all. Oh, okay. Uh, all the same is, I talked to my grandma earlier today, and she was talking about how she doesn't like to watch the news because it makes her anxious. Um, and while, yeah, there's a lot of people that are talking about, you know, inspiring hope and, and calmness and stuff, a, good, a little bit of anxiety is good because if you don't have anxiety, then you're going to walk out and, you know, get coughed on. So I say stay as anxious as you need to stay inside. So I don't know. <laughs> stay worried. Stay anxious. Don't go outside. <laughs> but I'm just kidding. I'm joking with you. Great. Thank you so much. Hey, I'm back. Are you there? Yeah, yeah. Man, I don't know why it's cutting out all of a sudden. That's the weirdest thing. So I got to do a lot of the, uh, yeah. The internet's been so weird, shoddy in this in this area, I feel like. But I'm going to play a song to go out. Anything you you would nice. prefer? What was your, what's something, uh, what's something you've been listening to that's uh, kind of changed your life in the moment as you've been hanging out around? Oof. Um, well, uh, let's see. Um, What's your favorite it? song right now? Oh, it's probably still uh, the uh, the Eternal Tao by the Voids. The Voids? Do you know the Voids? No, I don't. It's uh, Julian Casablancas from The Strokes. He has like a like a weird ass avant rock band called The Voids. Uh, v O I D Z, um, and they have a song called "The Eternal Tau that probably once a week I get stuck in my head again. See, that shit's important, man. I'm telling you what, right now. Oh, the Void Z with a Z. Yeah, 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 with a Z. <coughs> it's called what is it called? The Eternal Tau, T A O. So the like, yeah, the Eternal Tau. Well, okay, I gotta type it in, I guess. Okay. It's okay. Sometimes I get lazy. I don't need to be lazy right now. This is the time. We got plenty of time. <laughs> oh, there it is. All right. Oh. All right. Well, this has been a great conversation. Thank you so much. I'll tell you what. I was having a horrible, weird day. I'm sorry, man. That sucks. Not, not all the way. Just because. Just because. Uh, just at, at that last moment, just before I came on, I was like, I can't do this. Yeah, and I'm then, sorry, man. That sucks. Oh, it's not, nothing to be sorry about. This it happens to everybody. That's the whole point. Is it happens to everybody? It's okay. This is what we needed. I needed this for me personally. <laughs> would be at all my sporting events. Let's say I was playing football, okay? My mother would be on the sidelines, and if the play on the field started going one way, my mother would run along like, Mike, get him, get him! I'd be like, oh my gosh. 
I get in the huddle with the other guys. They go, Mark, is that your mother? I go, no, I never saw her before in my life. <laughs> See, the greatest gift my mother ever gave me, she believed in me. I have overdosed on drugs on three occasions where I should have been dead. But I believe I was kept here for a reason. You show me your friends, I will show you your future. How do I know this? I hung out with losers and I became the biggest loser of them all because I gave up everything I dreamt about as a little boy because of who I chose to surround myself with. My friends would drive me home at two, three, four in the morning. We'd be drunk and high, laughing in the car. We pull up in front of my house in New York. They go, Mark, Mark, the light's on. I go, oh man, my mother's up. See, my mom wouldn't go to bed until she knew her son was still alive. I'd walk in, she'd say, hi, Mark, how was your night? I go, it was good, mom, I'm just gonna go to bed. She goes, can I, can I talk to you for a minute? I go, mom, I'm tired, I'm just gonna go to bed. She goes, Mark, I haven't seen you all day and all night. Can I please talk to you? I said, man, just leave me alone. You bug me. I'd slam my bedroom door on the one person who believed in me. I was on a worldwide tour and we were wrestling overseas in Japan. After my wrestling match, I went upstairs in my hotel room and I fell asleep. There was a knock at my door at three o'clock in the morning. I got out of bed and I looked through the safety window and I could see it was a Japanese promoter. So I opened the door and he said, Mark, you need to call home. There's been an emergency. I went and got on the hotel room phone. I called back to the United States and said, hey, what's going on? They said, Mark, I don't know how to tell you this. I said, just tell me what happened. All of a sudden they started crying. They go, Mark, I can't tell you. I said, just say it. I said, Mark, your mother died. I just threw the phone down. I ran out of my hotel room. I took the elevator to the lobby and when the doors opened up, I just ran out into the street. I mean, there was no cars, there was no people. It's three o'clock in the morning. And I walked down the middle of a street in Hiroshima, Japan. And I remember looking up and just saying, Mom, I am so sorry. I flew home for her funeral and I was so nervous to walk up to her casket. So I just stood way in the back. And I kept looking from a distance. I kept thinking to myself, Mom, please wake up. Please get up. And then I finally got the nerve to walk up to her. And as I got closer, I could see my mom for the first time. I mean, she was so beautiful. She, she was dressed in white. I mean, she looked like an angel. And I just stood over and I said, Mom, you are my hero. Everything I am, everything I hope to be was because of you. You loved me so much. You gave me a life. You're the only one that ever believed in me. How did I repay her? By getting drunk, by getting high, by getting stupid, by hanging out with losers? For what? All she ever wanted to do was talk to me. I wish I could talk to you now, Mom. I wish you could see what I'm doing. Why couldn't I have been a better son? We are defined by our choices. But if you surround yourself with people involved in drugs and alcohol and pills, it's a dead end. I'm not here to preach to you. I'm here to tell you I lived that life. It leads to broken hearts, broken relationships, broken dreams, and death. For what? To get high? If you have a mother or a father, when you go home, tell them how much you love them. See, my whole life was about being rich and famous. I had to be a millionaire. I had to win the race. I had to win the race expense of my marriage, my family, my friends for what? To be all alone in the world? I learned what is truly important, and that is how precious this gift of life is and our families and how quickly it can be taken away. See, I no longer live in time. I live in moments. See, it's not what's in your pocket that matters. It's what's in your heart that truly matters. Love, love is just a word until somebody comes along and gives it meaning. You, you're the meaning.
Big thanks to Grant and anybody who watched this. Y'all have a great day.